All right, in this lesson, let's walk through our model end to end. So the first thing we have to do is import NumPy and import sequential from models and dense from layers. So control enter. Let's move down to the next step. We're going to set our seed, control enter. We're going to import our CSV, control enter on him. We're going to create our array. We're going to control enter on him. Define the X and Y of our array. Control enter. Let's take a look at the data. Great, that's what we want. And now there's our model. So let's go ahead and control enter to build the model. Let's compile the model where the work's done. And let's fit the model. Now I didn't create a separate video for scoring the model because it's really straightforward. We simply uh, create a variable called scores and we're evaluating X and Y and then we're printing out the metrics, right? So that's pretty straightforward and I didn't think that last step needed its own video. So let's see where we are. All right, so we're finished. Let's go ahead and take a look at the score and wow. It's, it's uh, 0.60 percent better than flipping a coin. That is horrific. All right, so what happened? Well, something happened with our numbers. Remember when we talked about how important it was to scale, All right? So here we've got 90,000, 60,000. Right, models don't like these here age. We've got 50, 49. These wide ranges, all right? Sometimes specifically with neural networks and specifically that I've seen so far with Keras, they really have a hard time with it. It really throws the model off. So all we're going to do is take this and we're going to normalize or scale it down. Right? Scale simply means we're going to put it to values between, let's say, a negative 10 and 10. All right? So I've already done that in another CSV. So let's open up that. And I think I call it the CSV. See, and let's take a look. Yes, so we can see in our yearly income, instead of 90,000, I put a 9. 60,000, I put a 6. So anything in that range is 60,000. Anything in that range around 70 is 70,000. And I did the same thing with age. Now, let's see what's this BBCN. And also, what I did to make the model run a little faster for us was only bring in what 400 rows how many rows do I have something like that maybe 500 all right so let's apply the model to BBCN come here nope let's hide you where is our so we're just gonna add in let's go ahead and load it and right, let's go ahead and take a look at the values after we put it in our array. All right. There we go. So we can see now we have our range, right? The number is between 1 and 10, and so is the age. And that's all we've done. I'm not touching anything else. Now let's come down and run through the process of building, compiling, and fitting our model and see what happens. A little bit quicker this time, and that again was because we only have 500 rows in our data set. So here, let's take a look. There is our accuracy, right? 50.60%. Let's hit Control Enter. And that's a little different, right? 64.60%, right? simply because we've scaled or normalized our data. All right, that's massive. And I did that just to show that neural networks are really susceptible to scaling. All right, so it really is important to scale our data before we start. Now, in the next lesson, we're gonna tune this model. All right, we've got an accuracy of 6460, and we're gonna do a lot better. 